a comparison that's been made by many between Mick Jagger and Harry Styles. Yes. Mick had something to say about it. Mick's not happy. Yeah, he's... Well, so he kind of did this interview with the Sunday Times where he said, look, we have a nice relationship. We get on, like, reasonably well. But also said that he kind of doesn't really tolerate the comparisons because he was, like, way more androgynous. He made a point about the fact that he wore... he In his younger days, he wore way more eye makeup than Harry did. It just all seemed to have pointed and a bit unfair <laughs> yeah. to be having a go about the lack of eyeliner. But didn't he talk about the music as well? He did, yeah. He just said there was kind of nothing in it and he just said he, he used to be like, even the movement, you know, because as you said, it's like the style, it's the dancing, it's everything. It's the full vision, I suppose. And it's the number one comparison that Styles gets. He just said he couldn't see it. Now, again, stress, like they have an easy relationship, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But again, and I know he's being asked about it, so he has to comment, but also seems a bit unfair given this was the weekend. Harry's releasing Harry's ah. House, yeah. her album. And Harry hasn't commented. No, he has not. He's but that's what too Mick busy. Should do. Mick is Mick Jagger. Why are you commenting on Harry Styles? Just say nothing. Yeah, yeah. You're Mick Jagger. You have to justify yourself to anybody. It just say maybe Keith Richards, but other than that. <laughs> no, that's right. But that's the thing. His legacy isn't in question, and also it just comes off a bit like old man yells a cloud for me. To be honest, like, <laughs> yells a cloud. You know, you know that Simpsons meme. It's like Grandpa Abe and he's yelling at a cloud. Anyway, it comes across a bit like that. To be honest, it's like Harry's doing his own thing. I'd say he welcomes the comparison because you can tell. He loves the Rolling Stones. Yeah. He takes such influence from them. But I don't think he thinks he's anywhere on the same level as him at yeah. all. Oh, good old Mick. If I had to be lulled to sleep, though, I know who I'd choose to read me a bedtime story. Mm, girl, Can I be a little girl? girl? Well, you can listen to a bedtime story. That does piss an awful lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do the lips, so do the lips, do the lips. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't wait next time. Something's Mick in the air this evening. <laughs> Matt, King's a lot like you. What? Forget Harry Styles if he has a I don't know why I did that. Harry Styles is reading bedtime stories now. He's, he's doing the bedtime story uh, on CBBS tonight in his uh, spotted pajamas. Nice. So that'll be one for the kids or the mams or the dads. Exactly. You know? yeah. There you go. So Martin stick King. that on. All or Martin King. <laughs> I pick you on that all day. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Do you have a spot of pyjamas you could wear? Well, I, I'm sure I could buy a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Martin and the Grim Brother, like Grim Brother's fairy tale. Ah, they're out down there in the Black Forest. Hello yeah. to everybody in the Black yeah, Forest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Point to a map. And hello to Brother Grim. Hello to Brother Grim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, very good. <laughs>